As we reach the halfway point of the football season, the question on everybody's lips is who is currently the best player in the world? And for us, there's been one clear front runner in Bayern Munich and England striker Harry Kane. And we're here to break down just why it's him. Since the start of this season, no player even comes close to his level of output. It doesn't matter which way you bend this stat either. If you take out the assists, penalties, or even change it to the calendar year instead of just this campaign, he ranks number one. And for us to understand just how he's converted his game so well, we need to take a a closer look at the system he's playing in and the role he's being asked to do. For the most part this season, Bayern have used a 4-2-3-1, with Harry Kane spearheading a front four consisting of Kingsley Coman, Jamal Musiala and Leroy Sane most of the time. His attacking teammates are direct runners who like to attack the box and carry the ball in transitions. And when we think about the type of relationship that Harry Kane managed to build with Hyun Min Son at Tottenham Hotspur, it's easy to realise why he's flourishing alongside a similar profile of player. Bayern Munich's goal in their 1-0 win against Manchester United it showed off their use of this minimum width. Thomas Muller was substituted in place of Jamal Musiala, and when they've built enough pressure around the opposition's box, we can see how the front four have completely narrowed and are looking to overload United's back line, with Harry Kane receiving the ball with his back to goal and flicking it round the corner for Kingsley Coleman, who has made a direct run in behind the back line from a central position. But it's been Harry Kane's relationship with Leroy Sane that has turned the two of them into two of the best players in the world this season. They've already combined for a total of eight Bundesliga goals this season, and to put that into context, the highest goal combination in the Premier League is Darwin Nunez and Mohamed Salah with six goals, and the Liverpool pair have played five more games than the Bayern duo. When you think of this dynamic, it's no wonder that Harry Kane and Hyun Min Son hold the Premier League record for most goals assisted for one another, with 47, but that pattern is still well alive and kicking at Bayern Munich. The pure speed and movement in behind of a player like Leroy Sane, mixed in with the weight of pass and precision of a player like Harry Kane, is bound to flourish in goals. Kane has always had this creative gene in his general play, but since his move to the Bundesliga, he's been involved in build-up far less than he was in the Premier League. Since the 2017-18 season, this is the least amount of progressive carries, carries into the final third, carries into the penalty area, and short passes attempted he's had per game in league football. On top of this, he's attempting 15.2 overall passes per 90 minutes this season, which is the least amount of passes he's averaged in four campaigns. However, despite Harry Kane having a lesser involvement, his efficiency within his creative numbers remain elite. Compared to every other league season in his career, per 90 minutes, he has the best expected assists, the most amount of passes into the penalty area, and the second best return on his actual assists. Even though he's compensating in some games to try and hang more on the last line to be that main goal scorer, we can still see these pieces of play we've become accustomed to when watching Harry Kane. For Sane's goal against Darmstadt, we can see how he's received the ball directly from the centre half with his back to goal. He spins on it and plays a lovely ball in between the lines to set Bayern Munich on their way, as Musiala slips it through to Conrad Leimer, who cuts it back once again for a winger who's attacking the box, Leroy Sane. But his goal scoring has been the area where he's somehow drastically improved. He is averaging a staggering 1.44 goals per 90 minutes, with an even more impressive 1.78 goals and assist contribution per 90 minutes too. And the sheer amount of records he's already broken at Bayern Munich is freakish. He holds the record for the fewest amount of appearances to have scored 20 goals, reaching that figure in just 14 games, smashing the record by 7. He's also became the first player in Bundesliga history to have scored a hat-trick in their first De Classica appearance. And hypothetically, if the season were to end right now, he would have already eclipsed last season's Golden Boot winner by 5 goals. But despite a stellar career, a trophy still eludes Kane. But with him enjoying one of the best seasons to date, there's no reason why he can't end this season in Germany with a title, before going on to captain England at the Euro in his new home country. So, do you think Harry Kane is the best player in Europe right now, or does he need to win at least a Bundesliga title before he can enter that conversation?